Christians in America, we just don't have good boundaries. In this video, I want to tell you why I think that's true. This is Jason for Soulfire here in this channel. We want to bring gospel hope for a porn-filled world. Let's jump right in here. Let's talk about boundaries. Now, when I'm talking about boundaries, what I mean is the things that you have chosen in your life that you will or will not do. All of us need to make determinations about what we think is or isn't helpful for our walk with Jesus. But as I look at American culture, as I look at what Christians are willing to do or not to do, one of the things that strikes me is that very often the life of a Christian is completely indistinguishable from the life of a non-Christian. We watch the same shows, we listen to the same music, we engage our time in the exact same types of behavior. So if you want to radically follow Jesus, if you're trying to pursue freedom from sexual temptation and sexual sin, then I think the issues of boundaries are critical. One of my favorite passages on the topic is Galatians 6, 7, 8, where it says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. One of the realities that this verse is pointing us to is that you can't deceive yourself into thinking, I can sow things into my heart, into my mind, and into my life, and I won't then reap what I'm sowing. If you are going to sow into your life sexual temptation, sexual sin, sexual imagery, sexual lyrics from uh, movies, from videos, from music, from whatever it might be, if you're going to sow that into your life, do not be surprised when the harvest that you reap is one of lust, temptation, and sexual sin. But one of the reasons I know that Christians struggle with boundaries is that for years, Game of Thrones was the most popular show in America. Now, I've never watched Game of Thrones, but I read quite a few reviews, including reviews from secular media sources that were saying it was an incredible amount of sexual deviant behavior in Game of Thrones. Bestiality, rape, incest, these were just some of the themes. And if you want to dive even deeper, read some of the interviews with some of the actresses and how they said they were pressured into doing things that they were highly uncomfortable for. In fact, one of the producers said that he was trying to think on the lines of the perverts in the audience. He wanted to give the perverts what they wanted. And so he was trying to talk one of these actresses into doing a particular deviant scene, and that is how he pressured her into doing that. That was the reality for a show like Game of Thrones, but yet it was the number one show in America. Yet over 70% of Americans claim that they are Christians, and if Christians had decent boundaries in their life, if they would say to themselves, you know what, I'm not going to, one, participate in viewing that sort of content for myself, or two, be paying then the producers of that content to do those things, then we, they it wouldn't be profitable. Game of Thrones would not be able to be the number one show in America if Christians would say, I will not participate in that sort of media consumption. You see, as men and women of God, it's not an issue of legalism. Does it make me a Christian to watch or to not watch something like Game of Thrones? But it, it is a discipleship issue. What am I willing to lay before the Lord and say, Lord, here is something, here, here's some television content, whether it's Netflix and I've gone off on Netflix a number of times, so if, you, if you're interested more on that, I'll post that right up here. Whether it's something like Netflix, Game of Thrones, or some other media or music content, just say, you know what, Lord, as I think about this content, it is not going to help me fulfill the mission you've given me to advance your kingdom. It's not going to help me in five years, ten years, be a better husband, father, mother, wife, be a better minister in my church. These are not the, the, the tools and resources that you have given me to grow my walk with Jesus and to impact the next generation and to impact the lost world. Let's be very clear. What we sow into our lives and our minds and our hearts through our eyes is the harvest that we are going to reap. Well, what do you think? Am I out of line here? Do Christians not need strict and severe boundaries? I would challenge all of you to consider what are the things I'm letting into my mind and what sort of boundaries do I need to develop on what I watch, what I listen to. Love to hear your comments below. If this video was helpful, definitely subscribe. Hit the like button if this video was helpful. This is Jason for Soulfire. I will catch you in the next one.